Hi everyone, I'm Jen Roberts on Twitter, at JenRoberts1, and I'm here today to talk to you about the new cool way of leaving voice comments in Google Docs using an app called Kaizena. Uh, it's the old voice comments with a new name, and it has got some pretty cool new features. So let me get started. Uh, the new way to get there is Kaizena.com, right there. And this is the new voice comments. If you've used voice comments before in Google Docs, you're probably going to love some of these new features. If you haven't used it before in Google Docs, then just go to kaizena.com and get started. This is what you get when you get there. I'm using the production URL right now, but you'll just use go straight to kaizena.com. When you get there, you click on the big green button that says connect to Google Drive, which I'm doing now. It will ask you if it has permission to do all these things in your Google Drive, and you just say accept. Trust me, you're fine. And then it's going to ask you to select a file that you'd like to work with. I'm going to choose a student file that is shared with me, and it's Hannah's paper here. And I will select that and add it to my Kaizena dashboard. I'm going to tell it that I am an educator. And it's already giving me her paper here that I can now work with and add comments to. This is her paper on civil disobedience, so she's writing about uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, Gandhi, Emerson, Thoreau, things like that. So when I find a piece that I'd like to tell her something about, um, I can simply highlight that area. And I'm not reading closely, so I'm just highlighting for example purposes. Emerson's ideas played a major role, but maybe I'd like to say something to her about that. So I can come here and click this record button, and when I click record, it asks me if it has permission to use my microphone, which I will allow and remember. And after this, I won't have to go through this step again. And when I close that, oh, I have to tell Chrome that I allow it as well. And now I should be able to record a message to Hannah about this particular section of her essay and let her know what I thought or what advice I have. And when I stop recording, it stops there. From here, I can view the feedback dashboard that I have for her. Um, it has a seven second recording about that piece of highlighting. It shows me the piece of her essay that I highlighted. And I can add resources. I'm trying to remember how I add resources. Hang on a second. I would like, oh, I can change the color of my highlight. But I would like to add a resource to this particular highlight. It's not making that easy. Let me add a resource to a different highlight. Um, let's say that down here, Emerson has, she has used this quote. And I want to give her some advice about that quote. So I click the little tag button. Come up here to a URL I have for a quote sandwich in YouTube. Come back to her paper. Paste in that URL and add it as a comment in her paper. Oh, that didn't work too well. Hang on a second. Let me try one more time. Add the URL and say add. Oh, I have to give it a name. That was my fault. Um, there we go. Add the link again. And we're going to work. Yay, we're working. I can still view the feedback. And this time it says I've got this quote sandwich there that I've added to Hannah to give her some advice about adding quotes to her papers. All right. As I scroll down through her paper, I can continue to highlight areas, record voice comments about that, in, and say things like, in this paragraph, I think you've really done a nice job transitioning from your previous paragraph. I can play that back for myself if I want to. Oh, let's not hear that again. And say done. Um, one other thing I can do is, if I've noticed that she's doing the same thing more than once, I can add... Um, I can add that quote sandwich advice to her back again. And um, on my dashboard over here, it has a list of my resources. And I can see quote sandwich is one of my resources. So these actually transfer between papers. So if I want to use the same um, URL for the same YouTube video on a different student's paper, all I have to do is start typing in quote sandwich onto that student's paper, and it will add this URL to their paper as well. So I can have sort of a collection of resources that I send my students to often, and be able to send that same comment to them over and over again. All right.
So this uh, dashboard page will show me a list of all the documents that I've got here. I can use the Add Document button to add more. Um, I can also access th this through Google Docs by right-clicking and using Open With. Right now I only have Google Docs as an, open, as an option. When um, Kaizena is live, I'll also have the option to open it with Kaizena. If I have added it to my Google Drive, you know, the old way you add Connect More Apps, and you would search Kaizena, which today is not going to give me any results, but in a few days when this is live, um, you'll find Kaizena there and be able to connect it to your Google Drive as well. So that's a quick tour of the kinds of things you can do with uh, Kaizena, which allows you to give kids really awesome feedback. If you have any feedback yourselves for the founders, you can find them on Twitter at KaizenaFB for feedback, or you can email them at founders, founders at kaizena.com. And once again, I have been Jen Roberts, and if you have any questions, you can reach me on Twitter as well. Thanks very much for listening. I, good luck giving feedback to your students on their papers. Thanks a lot.